Actually, it's pronounced Miliwake, which is Algonquin for the good land. Does this guy know how to party or what? If you're gonna hear one word repeated today, it's gonna be millennial. So we came here to the streets of Wisconsin-Madison to ask all of these folks what they think. I'm from Alaska originally and I'm here for school. I'm from Minnesota. I'm from Beijing. Florida. From just outside of Cleveland. Marshfield, Wisconsin. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. California. Grew up in California and moved back recently to come to school. I'm from Chicago. Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay. Mike, M-I-K-E. <laughs> Michael Caputo! Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Okay, so when you hear the word Wisconsin, what are the first three words that come to your mind? Badgers, cheese, good education. Badgers, <laughs> cheese. Cheese, beer, winter. <laughs> Definitely snow, beer. Snow, cold, and cheese. Cheese. We got some really nice blue cheese right now. I really like pepper jack. From, don't tell me, Wisconsin. Yes, the cheese state. Cheese. I probably shouldn't say this, white people, farms, beer, cheese, and uh, beer, cheese, college, <laughs> cheese, and cold. Fun. <laughs> awesome, cold. Hard working. And it's really pretty here. Lakes. A lot of lakes. Look at our license plate. It says America's Dairyland. Look at what the milk marketing board does. You look at other ag groups that have really pitched that quite successfully. And I think the same holds for tourism, which also came up. What would you look for in, in a place to live? Uh, I graduated college in 2007. There wasn't a whole lot of jobs around here. So I took a job in Alaska as a zipline guide. I just interviewed for a job like 20 minutes ago. Wishful thinking, I would love to go to the West Coast. Colorado. It's pretty actually similar to Wisconsin. The weather's a little more consistent. I was looking at like uh, jobs more by Washington, Oregon, and California. I just love the Twin Cities. I'm from Minneapolis, St. Paul. I'm getting a master's degree in vocal performance and opera, so I can find positions here, in Madison specifically, and in Milwaukee. They sometimes think that the opportunities are actually in sectors of Wisconsin that perhaps don't have as many jobs as they believe, but they're overlooking some of the sectors that have a lot more jobs. What kind of jobs do you think you would find in the state of Wisconsin? I would assume it was dairy. Probably the dairy industry. Can I say dairy? Agriculture. I know there's a lot of agriculture industry here. At least in Madison, there's a lot of government jobs. Probably research based off of the university. More business-orientated type jobs, um, where I want to go more uh, tech-type jobs. I came up and I saw Madison and it blew away my expectations. It wasn't what I expected. Um, even on the ride up, I was like, farms, nothing, cows, and then Madison popped up. I just love how friendly and helpful the people are here. The sense of community, the sense of safety, the notion that this was a livable place, I think that came through pretty loud and clear in the survey. Everyone's really nice here. People are really friendly. I just really like the culture of the state, and I like to ski, and there's snow here, so yep. it's beneficial. I like eight months out of the year. Yeah, it's yeah. nice, but it's some of those brutal months. I was born and raised here, and I'm comfortable here. I want to stay here. You want to stay here? Yeah, I'll be honest. I want to stay here. Hey, I'm with you. I'm with you. How do you like Wisconsin in February? Well, and what would be your most negative perception if there was one? The, the culture is a little bit more uh, country. Polka king of the Midwest. Yeah, we sold about 623 copies of that. In Chicago? No, Sheboygan. Very big in Sheboygan, they loved it. It's not very diverse. Being um, biracial and being from um, Cincinnati, a place where it's a lot more people of color. We're a blank slate. For a significant portion of people out of state, they, they don't think that we're, um, uh, they don't know enough to have uh, prejudices uh, uh, one way or the other. And I think it's uh, up to those of us who are in Wisconsin to help educate them. So there you have it, the look inside of a mind of a millennial and maybe the future. From the University of Wisconsin, this is Claire Salowitz with the Future Wisconsin Project.